Now that our block is cleaned and we've got all the particulates out of there, we brought it in and we're going to be installing the freeze plugs and then the other plugs in the motor. Tip for getting the old ones out is to um, uh, drill a hole and uh, screw a sheet metal screw in and use a pair of vice grips and kind of lever it out. So we start, we've got our, everything spread out right here. We have our uh, we gasket uh, shellac and we'll apply a small amount of that around each uh, opening. And we got our plugs and we will tap those in place and then we'll use a punch and a larger hammer to expand the mountain to make the seal. And they'll seat within there. Gasket compound works great, but boy, if you get it on your hands, it's hard to get off. And so we're just using a small ball peen hammer, driving it in. Here, the note kind of changed a little bit, and it's yeah, evenly it's... recessed around. Mm -hmm. If you wipe the uh, sealant up before it dries, you can clean it. It will clean up with some carburetor cleaner. So we got that one uh, seated in. Yeah, and, and, I, and that's really important too. They have a little cup shape to them, so that when you hammer them in, that gives a little bit of expansion for the seat. And we're just getting them in place. We're not expanding them yet. And, and that sound that we were talking about, that will change when it's completely even around in that hole. And you can see the dome shape to it. The, the dome part faces out. And once again, these are available at Caddy Daddy. Here, when it's seated in all the way, it changes the note. I'll trust you, Bob, to not uh, get me with the ball peen. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to expand the plug by uh, caving in the dome portion of it slightly. Yeah. Give it a little bit more. Okay, go right in the right in the center, yeah. and some good good swings. Yeah. But you know, you can. It doesn't have to all happen in one. No. Nope. 